Recently, I did a video about how to make a full drum part using only three modules, Pamela's Pro Workout, Quadrat, and Plates. We used Pamela's Pro Workout as the clock source, Quadrat for creating offset voltages, and Plates as the sound source using three synthesis engines, the kick drum, the snare drum, and the hi-hat. In this video, I'm going to make the same drum beat but I'm going to use only two of those three modules, Pamela's Pro Workout and Plates. We're going to omit the Quadrat. And instead of using the offset voltages from the Quadrat, we're going to use the cross functionality from Pamela's Pro Workout for logic to create those patterns and voltages. So let's talk about what we want to create. If you didn't watch the last video, then what we're making here is a very straightforward drum beat with a specific pattern. It's in the 4-4 time signature, a series of 16th notes with a kick drum on the first and third downbeat, a snare drum on the second and fourth downbeat, and hi hats on the offbeat. Kick E and a, snare E and a, kick E and a, snare E and a, like that, where the E and does are hi hats. So let's talk about what we have patched. The output of plates is just going to my audio interface, and we have the eighth output of Pamela's Pro Workout going into the trigger input of plates. I have this set at 4x, so we get 16th notes, and if I hit start, we'll just hear kick drums, because I have it set in the kick drum synthesis engine here. Now we've got this one cable coming out of the first output that's not plugged into anything yet. Let's stick that into the model and hear what we get. The uh, first output is also set to 16th notes, 4x. So now we're hearing 16th note hi-hats and nothing else. And the reason for that is because we're sending a high voltage from this first output into the model output, which maxes out the model by turning it all the way up, which goes to this highest mode, which is hi-hat. And that happens at exactly the same rate as the triggers, and the result is that we get all hi-hats. So let's use a Euclidean pattern to set up a snare drum on that second and fourth hit. So let's go into the first output settings. We move over to the Euclidean settings. We're going to give it eight steps because that's the part of the pattern that repeats. That's uh, two beats in 16th notes. There's going to be one trigger on the downbeat of the second set. So one trigger, and then we're going to slide that over using Euclidean shift so that it lands on the fifth beat. Okay, so now if we start again, we hear that hit on that sort of off downbeat, but it's hitting the hi-hat instead of the snare drum. The reason for that is because the voltage that's being sent out when this output triggers is quite high. It's at max level, so let's turn that down. I think we want it at about 5%, and 5% will give just enough voltage to move it from the kick drum to the snare drum. But we still have those kick drums on the 16th offbeats. And what we actually want is hi-hats. In order to do that, we're going to use the second output with a cross operation. So in the second output, we're going to do another Euclidean pattern with the same length, eight steps. But for this one, we want six triggers because there's going to be six out of the eight steps are hi-hats and only those downbeats are kick and snare. But you can see the, the sort of holes in the triggers are at odd places. They're not on the downbeats of the first and second beat. So let's go over to the shift and let's shift it a few steps to the right until it wraps around. And then we have that blank spot on the downbeat of one and two and the triggers only on the 16th note offbeats. If we play it again, we don't hear anything different because we haven't set up the cross operation yet. If we go back to the first output and go over to cross operation, if we change this to add, and then in the next one we set the source of the cross operation to the second output, what that's going to do is it's going to add together the voltages and the timings of uh, output 2 and output 1 and send both of them across this single cable. So let's listen to it now. That's it. That's the drum beat we wanted. 
So to make it a little more interesting as before, let's plug in a few LFOs from Oct into plates to modulate a few parameters. And there we go. A cool drum beat with only two modules, Pamela's Pro Workout and plates.